end of the day, these matches are really going to come down to who's playing more team oriented. I think everybody's going to be shooting, you know, similarly straight when we get down to the nitty gritty of this matchup. But it's going to be really who, you know, plays better as a team and, you know, calms more, you know, when it comes down to it. But first hard point, it's going to be four on four in the middle. And uh, Mills picks up two. That's going to be three down for Seattle. But Olga Chicago are about to be in control because they're all off spawn. Yeah, great job out of Olga Chicago to really get control of that. They get an early three down, which gives them very good presence and control in mid. But quality is going to hit a kill. SP is going to try and wrap and scare this piece to spawn. I don't know. Looks like OGC is making the adjustment now. Player 3 is working back, kind of watching for player 7 here to try to lock down these P2 spawns. He gets the kill, so that should all be secure unless they watch this B Street here um, for their spawns for P2 as Seattle now take control of this P1 hill. Yeah, TV snuck up over that globe area, got the kill onto that player in P1, and now, you know, they've gotten, you know, over 20 seconds on this P1. You know, while Olga Chicago do have that good side spawn, they're going to be ready for the P2. Seattle do get a nice chunk of time off the first break of that P1. You know, they're still waiting. They're trying to get all this time and, you know, get some picks on the way to that P2. But uh, right now, Olga Chicago are rotated and ready to hold. Yeah, and they have to get about 20 seconds here just to get caught back up with Seattle. So good off Seattle to get two. His quality pops two out as he comes out of this hill. As his teammate, t uh, excuse me, teammate picks up a third around him. They're looking for uh, the last one, and that gets cleaned up. So it looks like Olga Chicago trying to come to the top side of the map. Great work from them to get this break. Um, Olga probably felt pretty confident they were going to hold that. They had the setup. They chalked up the P1 time, and now they're in a bigger deficit uh, than they had started. Yeah, Seattle Sloss player makes the heads up play to push straight through the front there and it catches them off guard. But old guys Chicago do more of the same. There's been a few kills coming out of that office area and they run straight onto the point. But Mischief with a big two piece to hold it down. Freeze there with them. They should be pinching onto this last guy in the hill. And they have that time. You know, it's rotation time with 15 seconds left. But player seven's already there. Old guy Chicago with a chance to, you know, get the spawns. But, you know, Seattle Sloss have something to say about it. Yeah, unless the Seattle player can get the pick here, it's a, basically a 3v1 as the players for Seattle trying to sprint back now through the Esky side. And the other Seattle player loses that battle. It's three down on the side of Seattle, so they're going to be spawning out at P2. Oh gosh, Chicago, you know, they haven't held the first two hills very well, and they've been making the rotations, but Seattle's been relying on the breaks and getting them. We'll see if this is the first kill that Chicago can hold down as Mills locking it down, looking over his teammate there, uh, trying to get a good bit of this P3 time to get back in the game. Yeah, this, uh, this game so far has been very fundamental. You know, we've been seeing a lot of holds and, you know, very textbook breaks out of these teams. So I like what I'm seeing now on this Moscow hardpoint for the start. You know, all of Olga Chicago, you know, being very wary of those back spawns. Leroy with a big two-piece to defend the hardpoint. Olga Chicago quickly getting back into this game could be tied up by the time we get to that P4. And uh, with 20 seconds left, Seattle decides to rotate. Yeah, and that's good out of them. And speaking of fundamentals, you would think Old Guy Chicago would have a bigger lead given that they've been first to every hill so far as we go into this fourth one. Seattle relying on the break um, a bit too much and it doesn't pay off for them on this third hill. So we'll see how they look to rebound and possibly get in position here for this P4. I really like what I'm seeing out of Leroy at 8 and 4. Mills holding it down at 8 and 7 as well. And on the side of Seattle Slaws, a couple slow starts, but they're looking to get it back here with this hold. Yeah, slow starts, but they can bring it back at any time. But as I say that, Olga Chicago pick up two and have full control. Player eight coming from that bus side. Seattle looking to make a nice coordinated break. They're waiting for their teammates. And you can tell that right now, TV picking up a big first blow with the Krig. And there's two players into this bottom doggy area. Papa Bradley holding over the top. But Olga Chicago still in control right now. They cannot really get those kills. Uh, two kills go the way. It's back and forth right now. And uh, I think Seattle gets control of that one. Yeah, that was definitely a trade-heavy battle there, as P4 usually is. Looks like Papa Bradley looking over the top, trying to get a pick there. Daddy Roberts looking for the other one, but Quality ends up picking a teammate off there through the window. He's just going to back off and disengage from that fight. As Seattle take the bit of the scrap time, going into a nearly tied game. Seattle with the slight edge as we head back in this P1. A 3v2 going down there in the middle of the map, but Chicago player not letting these players walk into Globe free as Daddy Roberts is going to try and pop these two as they rotate. Yeah, but TV does have a four kill streak going on right now. Can he get these streaks? He's on a five. Uh, Mills, though, able to take him down. No streaks for Seattle. It could have been big going into that P2, but right now, old guy Chicago, they have the good spawns and the good side. So Seattle need to break it here so they can get some time before that P2. Yeah, and in the slang department, it's definitely on the side of Chicago after this first set of rotations um, with a nearly tied game. So props to Seattle for, like you said, just playing fundamentally sound here. Um, they're just making it contest heavy and scrappy, and that's what's kept them in this game is they're going to try to pull out the lead here. One of the teams, I think it's going to come down to, you know, who can really start to pop off here and maybe get a four down and capitalize on that, right? I know Hardpoint comes down to 
who gets the most points, but I think a player here we're waiting to see pop off and take over and really set the tone for the rest of this hard point. Yeah, old guy Chicago have a second chance to uh, get this P2. They got insta broken off of them the first time around. Can they hold it? Or uh, can they hold it this time? Right now, Priest on the right side, Mills with the first blood. Uh, good defense out of old guy Chicago. Player one does end up spawning out, but Daddy Roberts with a big two piece to hold down that hill. It's just mischief left in that P2, but uh, old guy Chicago are picking up the time. It's kills all over the place though. Daddy Roberts with two more. Yeah, and Mischief hung around there for a while. I wasn't even sure if they knew they were there. Is TV's going to get the kill streak to give clearance for his team there, draw some attention that way as two players are going to try and push through mid. The kill gets one at mid maps. So now it's a 3v3 right here with the close spawns and a spawn out for OGC. That player's going to rotate heads up play out of them with 26 seconds left. It looks like the teammates are just going to try and fight for this point, but Old Guy Chicago already thinking one rotation ahead as player eight also turns around and is going to try to win this gunfight. This is huge to determine how the rest of this game goes. And OGC wins it. Looks like they have spawns for P3 and they're just going to let Seattle have the rest of the scrap time um give seattle the lead still but i bet you chicago with their setup and how they're looking they, they want a full 60 here and they really want to start to run away with this yeah old guys chicago have been you know first on this rotation every time they are just always over on the rotation first seattle's been picking up that scrap time super consistently throughout this first hard point but uh old guys chicago have been doing such a great job rotating i mean we're 10 seconds of this hill and there's not even been contact yet cash it is a slow one but one kill in the back that's huge for seattle yeah, and they've been playing as a team, and that's what's been giving them, you know, even though their, their breaks have been later into the hills, like you said, um, Chicago kind of chalks it with enough hill time well, left. Two in the back. Seattle in the lead, and yeah, two in the back go down. Now it's a fight from the front. Chicago's trying to hold on to it from the front as they get one there. Two are still in the back. That's going to give Seattle the close spawn to wait. A player does spawn out. They don't end up spawning safe there. Two players spawn out, so great job out of Chicago. Recognition to turn around and clear that out to keep this hill, and they've got nearly a full 60 here as we're going to go over to P4, player three rotating the bank. Seattle trying to give it one more go from the front. Seattle trying to break it from the front. This is a, uh, you know, kind of a tough task at times. Only four seconds on the hard point. They need to rotate. Old guy Chicago get the first kill onto that P4. Big two piece out of Mills and Daddy Roberts almost gets the last one. Mischief in this bank area. Uh, nobody on time right now. Seattle, you know, just trying to get back to that hill. But old guy Chicago are looking to see where they're coming from. Trying to get that info. And, um, you know, it's just back and forth. It's hard point right now. Big kill out of Mills. He's really been playing great for old guys so far. Yeah, he's he's looked great to kick things off. And Leroy as well is a player from Chicago. Went to mid, tried to hit the pinch, and now they're going to flip and try to hold it from this side. So this is going to obviously go to another set of hills. And they're already putting themselves in a favorite position. I know Chicago's definitely thinking of the long game, right? We already put spawns technically set up for P2. So let's just try and break this from the front, do the same thing we did this last time. And they've had a flawless set of hills uh, these last couple of couple of goes and right now out of seattle just struggling in the slang department you know they relied on the breaks and whenever chicago gets a good hold they haven't been able to break it and when you're not slaying you know that definitely makes it harder to rely on those breaks because you kind of got to slay out the point to be able to get there we got two players in this p1 area that's all four down for seattle oh, sloss that is huge for old guy chicago right now they're up 50 after that big p five p4 and they're able to rotate to this p1 and they're holding it right now they're only got 30 seconds left before they win the game yeah they can win it off this so it's kind of panic mode it's time to go for um seattle is they're just kind of one by one trickling in and trying to take gunfights and they're just not winning their ones and that's kind of been the story of this game for them right you see players like daddy roberts and mills leroy you know just absolutely i said what well, who's going to take over and it's been Mills and Leroy taking over the second set of rotations. Um, and that's what's given Chicago such a great lead, is they can win it here in 10 seconds. So here come some Seattle players down. Eskies are going to get popped. Trades are heavy, but it looks like Chicago's going to come out the win. And with four seconds left, I don't think a Seattle player is going to get close enough. There comes Wally's the, the last one able to yeah, stop and it. And goes. old guys, Chicago win the map 150 to 159. I could have swore that game was 150 to 150 at one point. But old guys, Chicago take over in the second half of that game. Daddy Roberts and co doing such a great job in the second set of rotations and uh, they pull away with the W on map one. That is a big start to the series cash. Yeah, huge for them. That's great momentum Win. going in their way. Um, but if you're old guy Chicago, you got to come in guns a blazing. Yes, and it looks like the teams are assigned differently here. So we do have Leroy, Daddy Roberts, Mills, and Papa Bradley. Those are the guys for 
old guy Chicago, and then on the other side we are gonna have the members of Priest, Mischief, Quality, and TV for Sloss. Um, those roles just might have changed, but we'll keep that squared away for you guys as we go on here. And we're already gonna have two down on the side of Optic, um, or I'm sorry, on the side of Seattle Sloss. So we're gonna see how Chicago looks to regain here and take this back. Yeah. Um, quality gets taken down by Papa Bradley. Papa Bradley with a big two piece to win old guy chicago that round um just you know right off break old guy chicago runs straight across playing on that a bomb and um you know papa bradley with a huge two piece to end the round i mean what a great start for them am i right i mean they just run up on the first offense plant the bomb and just pop the pieces that's what uh without a death you do not want to see that yeah definitely great positioning and, and map presence for them to secure that round um that's that's something that's the way you wanted to start it off just keeping that momentum from that hard point great way for them to come out and just really take control of that round we'll see how seattle look to adjust here as they're on the attack uh seattle seem to be doing more of the same they run straight across to that a like we just saw old guy chicago do they pick up two kills on the entry uh two on the other side though leaving Daddy Roberts in a 2v1. He does have the sub out. He's on the flank, and I think they missed the timing. Priest might get taken down. Daddy Roberts gets a big kill onto them. TV, the last one alive with bomb on that A site. Daddy Roberts knows he's over there. Does not get the timing he wanted. He runs away, and TV looks to plant that bomb. He is getting it down right now. Daddy Roberts making the rotation. Looks like Daddy Roberts thinks he's on B, but... He goes on the slow flank TV, trying to hold it down, just going back and forth. Daddy Roberts trying to make a play here. He's got a lot of time left, and he's already in the gunfight. Gets taken down, and TV with a big W for Seattle. Yeah, getting that bomb down definitely uh, forced Daddy Roberts, you know, to have to make a play towards A. And just great awareness out of him to keep checking both sides, not to complacent and, you know, L trigger one angle. We kept moving around. So great awareness from him, and great way to get his team back in this with this second round win. Yeah. Uh, offenses go both ways. We trade offenses here and stand off search and destroy. Seattle back at it, looking to slow it down maybe. <laughs> Old guy Chicago and, and Seattle as well, playing both very fast offenses off the break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. They both just flew it A for that, so we'll see what team decides to slow the pace here um as it looks like we're gonna get that kind of waiting to get clearance or a first pick here um on the side of old guy chicago to get this bomb advanced towards a but it looks like seattle's gonna get the first pick there that's a great blood for them that's gonna force chicago to rethink what they want to do um everyone's kind of split a little bit there but seattle holding great position great lanes and daddy roberts is going to try to challenge someone at tank and get the kill but right now seattle's got it locked they're in a comfortable spot and i don't think they plan on moving yeah, this is definitely a metal boots round out of both teams. After the two-minute first two rounds, they again. Uh, started slowing he it down. To Here he, is. <laughs> he was trying to trying to get his play, but Leroy comes in and uh, gets naded out. The trades are back and forth, but old guys have the site. Yeah, and here we go. Classic 2v2 coming up here. The bomb's going to go down A. They're trying to hunt down Daddy Roberts. The player 7 is trying to make a play. Can we get the timing? Mills holding that angle. Doesn't give quality anything to work with us now. These players are going to try to get together both on offense and defense. Mills trying to get a pick there, and he does. The players come up behind him. Is it going to be ready? No one's looking over each other's shoulders. He might get a pick here. There's one. He's going to turn, oh. and they got the other one. Great win for OGC there. Just to play in tandem and uh, make sure they didn't drop that round. Yeah, doing a great job of playing those trades. You know, getting the info, not over -challing. Um, This is, you know, textbook search and destroy out of the boys on Old Guys Chicago. Uh, we have just been trading offenses back and forth over and over again. It is sitting at 2-1 to one right now, and, you know, somebody's got to win a defense at some point, and I feel like old guy Chicago might put it away right now. Yeah, and does it surprise you that going into this fourth round we don't have a defensive win, or because it's standoff it's a little more probable maybe that someone can pull off a few offenses? I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's still, you know, you got to hold down your sight and you got to play textbook. But I feel like both of these teams are playing, you know, pretty textbook when we look at it. They're just, you know, a lot of these rounds are just not going their way. They've been getting the bomb down, but, you know, at some point, you know, somebody's going to win a defense, I feel it. Yeah, definitely. And looks like Seattle wants to make that. Daddy Roberts on the route to get it, but the trade's instantly there. Seattle want to make the first round to get a defense. Is there now, again, we find ourselves in a 2v2 situation. Players are split this time. That's a different player one behind. Oh, gets the absolute timing. Leroy's going to get that and put Chicago in a 2v1 situation. 
now Miss just got to try and work a bomb and they're watching. They, I think they know where he's at and they're just going to watch this. There goes the comms. I think Leroy's going to try to make a play. The pinch is coming in. I don't know if there's much mischief can do. Now it's just a waiting game to see when he's going to run into someone's line of sight and get melted here. Does he check his corners? He could have a good 1v1 here, but Leroy ready for him. Great one out of Chicago to go up 3-1 here. Leroy with a great corner angle. And, um, you know, another 2v2 victory. You know, I feel like every single round we've watched here has been ending up in 2v2s, and I think that's maybe why I've been seeing so many offenses. You know, once we get through those trades and we end up in those, you know, 2v2, 3v3 situations, the rounds can really go either way. You know, once you get to that point, you just got to execute, and that's how you win those rounds. Like, if you're, if you're not going to get the bomb down, you got to win as a unit. Yeah, definitely. The players who've been playing together, right? Like you said, the, the trades for the first bloods have been even because we've come down to a 2-2 is another team tries to get an early pick and it's going to be old guy Chicago. Daddy Roberts, he's just getting in, getting his kill and playing his life. Great out of him in this S&D. Um, it's old guy Chicago. We're trying to get this offense here. Daddy Roberts maybe overcommits as TV can turn around and get him there. Tried to hit a cheeky route. Leroy's just going to charge forward and try to get one as his teammate picks it up. They know someone else is here. They're going to try to get the bomb down now. Is they are in a three or yeah three v two situation, bomb down now, priest, position discovered. They're gonna try and reposition here and get a kill on Mills, who's got this locked down. Another two v two though, old guy Chicago with the bomb down. Leroy and Mills trying to just wait to see what they do. Old, or Seattle Sloss, play taking their time. You know we're on standoff. You got a long time to get to that A site. But both old guy Chicago players are in these corners. Leroy checking the bomb. Is he able to get the kill onto? Uh, and they do. Old guy Chicago get the trades out, and that's another round win for them. Yeah, offense, and, and I think the key to their offense is even getting the bomb down. Whether it's you know I, we see, found ourselves in the two v two situations, but you know it goes without saying the bomb down adds that much pressure, right? Because if you got twenty seconds left, okay, you've got twenty seconds to get the kills and get to the bomb, and. Um, I think their mistake might have been they played that a little too slow um, and Chicago was ready and read it. Yeah, I mean, when you play on standoff, once you get that bomb down, I mean, I feel like the defensive team has almost all day to do whatever they want. You know, they can go full flank if they wanted to and they'd still make it to A in time. But uh, Seattle Sloss runs straight to that B or A site, but it's a bloodbath over there. Olga Chicago pick up two, but another 2v2 cash. Would you believe it? I, I absolutely <laughs> would if you told me because that's just the situation it's been, man. Both teams have been super efficient on the trades. Is We now find ourselves in a 1v1. The trades have been unbelievable, and Priest is trying to get one off Leroy. Maybe we're trying to work around this team, get another round, and make it a 5-1 for Chicago in this ever-so-important swing round. Will it be 5-1? Will it be 5-2? I guess the next round might even be more important as well, but Priest just holding this angle. Not sure if he's aware that Leroy's trying to make this route. We'll see if he checks his angle. Leroy got the info. I think he might have saw him there. We'll see what he decides to do and how he decides to play this. But it looks like Priest is going to get the eyes on him. Maybe he's making the wrap behind and going to try and get this plant B. Is now Leroy's going to have to try to work A and up where he's going. And Leroy takes it. Great gunfight went out of him to put Chicago up 5-1. Um, awesome ice on the end of him keeping that gunfight close. Yeah, big... Big win for Leroy and Co. They go up 5-1 in this standoff search, and they are just, you know, all business right now. Leroy with a big, you know, I think that was a 1v2. Um, but he is just playing out of his mind, you know. Let me see the scoreboard. I think he's sitting at something crazy. He is doing it all for old guy Chicago right now. 9-3, and three, the guy mm -hmm. is going off. Yeah, and Priest on the side of Seattle at 7-6, and six, not too bad. But, man, after that trade in those 2v2s, it's just come down to... How effectively can you, like you said, you know, play together and get those wins? And it is just not on the side of Seattle right now, unfortunately, as they hope to try to turn things around. You know, they have no choice at this point. They're going to try to get the first blood here, but Leroy, once again, is going to do it. He gets traded. Oh. oh, my gosh. There it is. What we were looking for out of Seattle sloths. Finally a sign of life in the sense of it wasn't a trade battle. All players got dropped there except for one. So Daddy Roberts in a 1v3 now. Great work out of Seattle. Great adjustment for them to finally play it how they wanted to and get the kills they needed. Yeah, Seattle knew old guy Chicago was going to that A site. They've been doing it all game. Daddy Roberts making it a 1v2 now. But, you know, with those defensive setups, it's, you know, kind of like throwing spaghetti at a wall. You just got to kind of hope it works. Um, but, you know, old guy Chicago win 
or lose the trade battle and leaving Daddy Roberts in a 1v2. You know, can Seattle make it 5 2 and start the comeback? I don't know, but it's up to Daddy Roberts now. This round looks all but secure, them knowing bomb sound. Like, I just get the kill, right? Daddy Roberts gonna make it interesting, but but can't get the kill. Um, yeah, perfect out of them in the sense of they had bomb down, all they had to do was wait. You know, they really had no other option there. And maybe that's the momentum they needed, right? We'll we'll see what happens this upcoming round now is they're gonna take to the offense. Um, it's been an offensive heavy S and D. We'll see if we start off in a quick two v two or uh, if we get another three v one. Um Seattle pulling out all the stops to try and get back in this. Yeah, and um, you know, if Seattle wanna come back, you know, it all starts on this offense right here. You know, if I'm if I'm the leader of this team, I'm saying, Hey guys, we just gotta win this offense and win the defense. We're back in the game. So that's where it all starts if you're them. And they get the first blood onto Papa Bradley. Will they be able to get that bomb down? They're just waiting. They're sitting and waiting. Uh, Seattle, they are playing the waiting game now. And I love how to player five. I mean, you've got to know Daddy Roberts is trying to take the crazy route, right? He's like the envoy in the map. He's going to be making a ratty route. Where is it going to come from? And playing this ever so patient, player five is finally backed off, but eight watching it. I think he knows. I think the, I think the communication is clear on what they want to do is we see a B plant go down now out of Seattle and they're in position to take this, this gunfight here at the top of the map is huge and it's going to go the way of Seattle. There goes another one down. TV picks up his second on the round. Great work out of him as Leroy is now left in a 1v4. This is a flawless offense out of Seattle. Yeah, Seattle with a big offensive round. You know, they're 1v4 now. It's going to be hard for them for Leroy to win this round for Olga Chicago, especially when he is shooting dead bodies by accident. You can't blame him, though. It happens all the time. With uh, 15 hey. seconds left, this round is all but over. Yeah, essentially, you know, it's, it's that clutch jitters, man. Your adrenaline's at an all-time high, and you're just trying to get a pick. But I think he knows this one's this one's over. They're going to chalk it up, regain. Um, what do you think they got to say here now? Is it a 5-3 match? What do you think it's got to be going into this offense for Chicago? If, if you're Chicago, I feel like you really want to win this round. You do not want it to go 5-4. 5-4 is definitely the part where it starts getting super worrisome if you're one of these teammates. You know, when they're making that comeback, you can kind of feel it. You know, you want to close out the game, but uh, it's just hard sometimes. And, you know, I know they're feeling it now. So if you're old guy Chicago, you want to close it out here. But um, Seattle, you know, you got to feel that momentum right now. Yeah, it's definitely in their favor, and they are the only team, you know, they've dropped an S&D in this playoff, and I don't think they want to repeat that again as they are scratching and clawing and trying to get back into this. Down 5-1 at one point, we're now sitting at 5-3. Seattle taking it now on defense. We're going to see what Optic can do. They take this 2v2 kind of split in a sense. They have two locking it down at A. Who's the first blood going to go to? They know Mills is at this tank. We'll see how this goes. A pretty slow one to start. Yes, yeah, slow round off the break. Old guy Chicago waiting for those picks. Um, and that's something you really have the option to do on this map since it's so small. You know, you, there's always the chance that, you know, one of those Seattle players just pops out by, by you know, random Neander. Uh, two kills on the board for Old guy Chicago. That is huge for them leaving Seattle in a 2v4 on that A side. And Mills is doing it all right now. And that is that is the game, you know, just as just as quick as it was started, it, it was over that round. But, um... Old guy Chicago win it and are up 2-0 now in the series. Yeah, and Chicago, I really think they intentionally slowed that down. They said, hey, let's we're the ones that are about to win. Let's force Seattle to make a move. I think I totally agree with what you're saying, Cash. I think, um, you know, that playmaking ability is, you know, something that can't really, it's intangible, you know, because it will it can mm -hmm. come out at any time. You know, just at one point, you know, someone makes one play and it changes the whole game. That is something you cannot, you know, replicate with anybody else. But uh, off this first break, it's going to be all about that plane control. Mischief gets first blooded. And uh, it's back and forth up top. Old guy Chicago seems to be, you know, on that defensive end first. But uh, player seven's already in the spawn, turned him around. Yeah, definitely trying to get Mixy here as they've been doing this entire game. Mills with the SMG trying to pop two here in the Seattle spawn, and he's not able to as Mischief gets the trade for his teammate. This battle going on A Street here. Seattle not making much progress, but a huge gunfight for Mischief to take as that clears that A Street now. A player from Chicago trying to frankly go over there. Quality trying to take plane control, but Chicago had that lockdown as now Seattle have presence on A. Yeah, this first defense going, um, looking great for old guy Chicago. It can be hard to you know, break out of that spawn if you're on the side that Seattle is right now. Uh, it's just Kriggs all over the place for old guy Chicago and they're just trying to lock them in and it looks like they're doing a great job right now. Yeah, they just have that one player on B and they're focusing their resources towards this A side as they have playing control on the side of Chicago and um, 
Seattle just funneling up that one lane, trying to make something happen. We'll see if they're trying to make a B hit here, but they're working around. Quality gets a pick there, but that's traded by Daddy Roberts. Now we look to try to see the other ARs and players of Seattle get involved, but it has been Chicago, this entire defense, with the map control and the pressure, keeping Seattle in this spawn mixer as Seattle still try to get a lane here. They stop the clock with seven seconds, just about seven seconds left, but Leroy pops a two-piece. We're gonna see if Priest can get the kill here, and he does, and that's huge for his team, but that now takes him off of the point as he gets killed, and I don't think a Seattle player can get on it unless they fly here. Player two does get on it. Player eight is popping Bradley, the only one able to stop him, and they win the round. They get taken down. Uh, old guy Chicago with the first defensive win, and um, you can't be surprised on checkmate control. You know, it's really a battle here of who can get that offensive win a lot of the times. You know, it's just a battle of, like, who can get the points. Yeah, exactly. How can we how can we draw that defense at the round five? Or how can we take the first offense off of this other team? And Seattle dropped the ball there. It's old guy Chicago are going to get their crack at taking an offense early here in this control. Um, like what I'm seeing again on the side of old guy Chicago, the respawns. They are just slaying out of their minds. Um, Seattle, I like to see them slow it down a little bit, work together, really get in the positions they want to. Because when they're comfortable... They were playing really well. That's how they found success in the S and D. And I'd like to see them implement a bit of that here as they're trying to get playing control early in this round too. Yeah, playing control is so important on this map, especially if you're on defense control side. Uh, Old guy Chicago trying to take control of that A Street capping point, though they are already on it. They got three players around it: Leroy and Papa Bradley in this middle left plane area, just holding it down, waiting. They get that first tick, but Seattle just trying to wait for their teammates. So they can make that pinch. Daddy Roberts with a nice kill on the back. And uh, Old Guy Chicago doing a great job of defending themselves from this point. Daddy Roberts with another big kill. Nine and two, mind you. Didn't even notice. But uh, this guy is piecing. Yeah, absolutely. And I love how far up the map they're pushed. I know there's a Seattle player behind right now, and that could spell danger. But they're almost spawn trapping on offense. And oh. they're pretty handedly <laughs> taking this as Daddy Roberts able to snap there and get the kill of the person bottom play. And they're going to take this A point with these. And now, yeah, I'd have to fight. For a minute, as Daddy Roberts goes on a five spree here, absolutely playing out of his mind, trying to secure this championship for his team. They're trying to get it done here in this final map, trying to make rotation over B now. Love what I'm seeing out of them on the slaying side. And Seattle are almost kind of stuck. Player four has been there for a while. On the side of Seattle, not really making a play yet. We'll see what he decides to do. But Seattle on defense, having to work out of their spawn. Chicago have their number. Player four just waiting for those spawners, but uh, they got to get the kills first. There are two mm -hmm. old guy Chicago players in the middle. They might be just going for, uh, they might just start playing some TDM here. They got so much time left, and they're up in line. Leroy behind two. There's one. He knows the other one, too. Gets the trade out. Papa Bradley. Uh, Daddy Roberts gets killed off that streak, by the way, but if you're old guy Chicago, you're just trying to close out this round right now. You don't even need the streaks. Just keep them off the point and win this round. Yeah, and they have kept him on the point, but TV gets one kill and then drops as he waited that entire time for a spawner to come up for OGC. I'd like to have seen him made a play earlier or have left that position as he essentially got traded there and sat there for a decent bit of time. Um, now for Chicago, you got a minute to work with. You are up seven in the lives department. Make that six. Seattle making this a contest. They're trying to go for it. They've kept Chicago off the point. It's time for them to ice up here. Even though they're down in a few lives, they can definitely get this done. Yeah, old guy Chicago might have gotten a little bit ahead of themselves trying to push up into their spawn because uh, Seattle able to bring it back in this round. Leroy still under that plane, though. There's still a chance. Old guy Chicago still up six lives. Uh, they're off that spawn. They're trying to get that plane control, but it's up to Seattle to stop them right now. If they want to win this round, it's going to have to be gritty like we were talking about before. Yeah, and player four again, I hope he makes a quicker play here. With only 30 seconds left, he knows the players have got to be going towards that point. So now we see him flying. These players come off spawn for Old Guy Chicago's mill. He's on a three streak right now. Tries to get the fourth, but can't. As two players drop on the side of Chicago. Now they're just scrambling to get on the point. Leroy trying to hold it down here. Loses a Krig fight. Brings a 74U to a long range fight and loses that one. Mischief just watching this angle here. Waiting for these players to flood the point. That's three down for Old Guy Chicago, though. Leroy, the only one up off spawn. Only three left for Seattle, so there's still, you know, there's still some plays they can make in this. Only one player. Around the hill, Leroy just sneaks up onto it, but player three's behind him. They don't know he's there. They get taken down to Mills, though, still alive here. Priest gets taken down. 1v3 here. Quality Ooh. takes down Mills. There's three seconds left. Can they make it? One second, zero. Oh, my God. Oh, one point. Whoa. Oh, gosh, Did they win? Oh, you. my gosh. Oh, okay. Wow. So. The lives were 13 to 
seven. That ended up being a 1v2. They only dropped six lives there to the nine dropped by Chicago. Unbelievable stuff out of Seattle. Unbelievable resilience out of them. This is a huge wind in their sails going into this next round as they clutch up on this defense down 10 lives at one point. Yeah, that was a huge clutch out of Seattle. Huge clutch out of quality in that last, you know, couple kills. 0.1 second, that was insane. But, yeah. you know, old guy Chicago unable to close it out. Seattle playing it, you know, disciplined and well. So they take that round. One to one now. Defense is trade off. Um, looking forward here. Old guy Chicago do have the take advantage. So if it goes round five, they might be able to get that defense that they want. But off the break, they get three straight kills mills. Two in a row. That's the reform, right? Oof. Yeah, the guy is on fire right now. The slaying is no question. Been the entire night in the side of Chicago and Seattle just been making it scrappy and pulling it off. But it's in these late situations. This Mills is trying to get the flank. Does he get the timing? He's going to get one here. He's going to try to. I don't know if I know that he's there. There's one in the back. Does he know TV's here? He tries to get the snap and can't because he gets dropped. Playing just super ratty in their spawn force. And Seattle have to pay attention to him, but... Um, Seattle have had a harder time closing out towards the end of this. I know we're about halfway through this control. Um, we'll see if they can get out of spawn here. They need a lane to open up so they can get on one of these points, but they've got players in their spawn, so it's been hard to deal with. Yeah, players all over the spawn. Papa Bradley was the first one to get taken down, but it's still Daddy Roberts in that yellow area trying to hold it. There is a player on B2. It's Leroy. Uh, Priest trying to take it from him, but he doesn't want to jump on the point yet. Giveaway is... His placement on the map, uh, quality with that kill on the A street. That's three, down, three down for for Seattle, and they need to get that A point now. Yeah, stack it, stack it, stack it. You do not have time to get wiped off this point. I say you get it while you can. Ticks aren't in your favor, so that's what they're gonna do. Priest cleaning up around the point. His teammates are on a pop. Bradley gets one. Priest just trying to aim, get these guys off of here while they secure this point. Daddy Roberts is gonna try and break through the mid here. Now we'll got Chicago have it surrounded, but from top lane. Mischief is trying to get it done, and he does. He gets oh. two. Papa Bradley with one. Mischief's trying to get the third, but Quality's there to clean it up. This should be the eight-point form. I, I feel like Chicago are probably going to chalk it up at this point. Yeah, Chicago can give away this point, be up six lives, and be okay with it. They're going to have a minute 15, and um, that's more than enough time to uh, you know win this round still. If you're Seattle, you got to try to sneak this away. You got to get like a three down like you did before. You know, Try to replicate what you just did on that A site, on the B site. Just get the team together. Get some kills and jump straight on it because that's the only time you're going to be able to, you know, snatch it. Yeah, I don't like how the players are splitting here. I, like you said, I would like to see them play together, play the trades, and if you get a three down, hey, let's stack this point and get it done. Um, they're trying to hit a route here. I don't know if player two is going to get sniffed out as he gives away his position with those shots there. We'll see if he can get a kill back here and maybe pinch the point with this team as he does. Player is going to try and hunt him down now. There's two down right now in the kill feed. Mills gets one. Mills gets two. He says, no, it's not going to be that easy for you guys. We're trying to close this one out here. Um, mischief ends up getting found out. And, yeah, I'd really like to see Seattle. They have 30 seconds. They don't have much time. I'd like to see them group up, get a wipe, and get on the point because that's where they found success. Mills, when there was a moment of doubt in the old guy Chicago round, was able to just pop a two-piece and completely bail them out of the moment. He picks up two more up top. He's doing it all. He's 27 and 18. And um, old guy Chicago up 12 to 3 in lives right now. Yeah, and this one's basically over. Um, Seattle, you know, I think they had a position there. Can we try to do what we did or maybe try to make a route and, and force them to spawn deep from the point? Um, they opted to play a part and they just weren't winning the trade tonight. I feel like in that camp it should be, hey, slang's not going our way. Let's try and play together. We, we instantly found success whenever we were able to get a three down situation and then just stack the point. Um, what do you think their talk is going into this next round now as they're on defense? Well, I think uh, I think that round kind of secures the fact that uh, Olga Chicago get defense. I might be wrong mm -hmm. by that. Um, I, that's I right. Think, I so, think you are right. So, I mean, if you're Olga Chicago, I mean, you're feeling good. Uh, you can kind of just, you know, try to throw everything you got at this offense and uh, hope you win it. If not, you got a defense after that. But if you're Seattle, you know, you got to, you know, tr you have to try to just like, I guess get streaks here. That's the goal. If you're going to win this round, try to get streaks because you got to do as much as you can before next round. Most definitely. And, you know, maybe they, can, they can't even be focusing on if they're going to have an offense or a defense, right? Because they just got to win this one. It could be over here. And I don't think Old Guy Chicago's are going to gonna let off the brakes here. Is Daddy Roberts fine too mid-map? He ends up getting dropped there. But Mills, who is it? The guy who's trying to get ratty in the spawn. 
trying to get people shot in the back and then that's what he does best is now they're trying to work up here on this a point already a ticket progression going through this priest trying to make the contest happen but leroy shuts it down he's just doing it all in this point right now doesn't even need his teammates really i mean there's three of them working towards it they're just gonna cap this off they're gonna have well over two minutes they're gonna be up lives here a seattle need a flawless setup for two and a half minutes they get that a point up four in lives old guy chicago um they have this plane completely pinched in they're jumping in from both sides papa bradley and mills uh trying to get around here it's tv though in the tetris area trying to get some kills but mills picks up another two he, every time i look in the kill feed he's dropping two and uh if i'm old guy chicago i love mills right now yeah he knows where these players are you saw him jump and check that corner he's just i don't know if it's seattle playing you know two predictable positions or he's just on one and he's absolutely feeling himself this map and i'd like to think he's feeling himself with a score line of 31 and 20. he's had an absolute day today and for seattle you got to keep holding it down because this is do or die i mean th the game could end here and your season could be done here you need to find the resilience to get this done keep playing control keep those l triggers held and just be ready to take those gunfights when you're ones from here uh, and you might be in good shape. Four lives is not too bad of a situation, but um, player five is trying to work the spawn now of Seattle. Just love to see Seattle. Just, you got to dig deep, right? The comms be like, hey, let's just dig deep. Let's give it our all. If you can go out with that, then that's one thing. But Leroy's trying to shoot players in the back. TV might just be hidden well enough. Nope, he's going to see him there. And that's a huge kill for Leroy. Just to be a problem in Seattle, spawn is now. They have presence. Essentially, whenever they want to hop on that point, they can. But... Looks like Seattle takes care of it and wipes them off, so they still have presence there as Leroy's trying to get hunted down, but Seattle doing it right now. They've held him for a minute. They've got just under a minute to go. Leroy in their spawn, making them weary about what's going on, but Seattle kind of break themselves out of it. Uh, quality Ooh. with a huge two piece. That's very good for them. It's 14-14 lives now. Seattle can still win this, um, but old guy Chicago been doing such a great job of getting up in their face so far that um, you know, I really think it's going to be up to Chicago to make a play here if they want to win this round. Yeah, and it's going to be up to um, players like Mischief and Quality who have been shooting super well on the side of Seattle to just clutch up for, for one more push if they can. As TV gets one, he's going to try and get the second, and he can't. Leroy gets the top lane. Players flying off of spawn now. Looks like Chicago's still trying to push up. They're still trying to hold these players back as they just have one player on the point stopping the clock. Priest waiting to make his play. Player three surrounding it, though. He's trying to see if players are coming on spawn, but no one is. He just he turns around. He's got a couple free kills on the hill, but his teammates get it done around him. No one's on the point right now. Chicago might drop this round. We'll see here. Four seconds left. No one's pushed up far enough. Seattle do it with two minutes. Down four to six lives. They get it done, and they take it to a round five. It kind of looked like Chicago slowed down there, did it not? I felt like they could have really tried to close that one out maybe they were just banking on that defense but i felt like they slowed down that round compared to how they played yeah i feel like this uh this game could be four zero old guy chicago right now instead mm -hmm. it's two to two um so you know chicago giving seattle a chance um they are on that defensive side which they've excelled at so far from what we've seen um obviously they're not as good at closing out of that offensive side so if you're seattle you know you know they're good on defense but you gotta Try to sneak something away right here. Get in the plane and get on those points because right now, Old Guy Chicago are giving them a chance. It's just up to them to execute right now. And I believe yeah. they can. Old Guy Chicago have done everything to help Seattle. They, they've they given them the breath of life they needed as the guns are trying to warm up here on the side of Seattle, but three go down, unfortunately. Priest trying to creep onto this point. Knows someone's going to be here, but Optics giving them the chance. Or Old Guy Chicago's giving them the chance. They need to capitalize because this is the breath of life that they needed to draw this to a map four and possibly a map five. Mills, they're just a spectacular two-piece on the left side of the map, though, which is uh, just something he does every single life, it seems. Um, it's but routine, man. It really is. Seattle are on that A point, though. Papa Bradley gets taken down, and uh, Seattle getting some kills on the map right now, but there's a wall. <laughs> Yeah, the man's just feeling himself, and as he should be at 35 and 27, he's challenging with the DMAT. He doesn't care. He's popping two pieces every life. It's unbelievable to watch it. But quality, with some quality beams so far, these last couple of rounds, is he's going to lose that gunfight to Papa Bradley. Leroy in the spawn trying to make things mixy. Looks like they're at a point, or, um, sorry, a take of progression at point A. Gunfight's just not going in their favors. They're not pinning their spawn. They've got to get a lane open, but who is it? Mills trying to make the play. Priest able to read, but Leroy's there if he doesn't get it. There is a Seattle player on that B point. It is uh, quality right now. He gets taken down by Papa Bradley. And um, 
you know, with it, it's 17 seconds left. Seattle are gonna have to do something drastic because there are two, uh, oh, we got Chicago players and Mills with another two piece. That's what we've been saying all day. He's popping two pieces of a TV back on the point. With eight seconds left, it's gonna be hard. I don't know what they're gonna do. Yeah, they've got to sprint out of it at this point, and all you need to do is hold your L trigger on the side of Chicago as they are going to end the Seattle's lost season here in a dominant 3-0 fashion. Um, Mills, what what can you say, man? You know, you'd be scared if there were three people on a point, or you'd be scared if it was just one Mills because you know he can take <laughs> down three of you in one life. It doesn't matter. The guns were hot. The entire series on the side of Old Guys Chicago. Congratulations to them. And Mills having a night, having a control round. Beautiful, beautiful.